What's up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. And today we're going to continue that trend of doing something just a little bit different. I have for you Incursion Red River. Now, this game is still in early access, and from my understanding, it is a PvE extraction shooter. So I'm not really sure how that works. Nevertheless, let's jump in and check this thing out. Grab yourself a monster, and let's do this. All right, so we have to go to the terminal. That's how we access everything. So this is a lot like um, escape. <laughs> so this seems like it might be like escape from Tarkov, right? I never really played that much. It makes me nervous. You guys give me anxiety attacks when I play against you. Oh, your stash is where all your equipment is stored. Manage your loadout, weapon attachments, and even upgrade the amount of space the stash can hold to store even more loot. Gotcha. F to open your stash. Oh, we already have all this stuff. This is, this is okay. So we got escape from Tarkov, but for scared people like me. Let's check this out. The gun range. Shooting range, your shooting range contains a number of targets for you to test your equipment and weapons on. The shooting range contains a number of targets for you to test your equipped weapons on. Ammo is unlimited while you are in the hideout. Yes. I don't have to leave. Look at this. Uh, how do you swap it? Ah! I'm just kidding. Um, let's see. There it is. Oh! Look how smooth that is. This game's early access. They weren't kidding. You have unlimited ammo on the range. I'm gonna like this. What is this? Oh, we can't use it. Okay, well. Do we have anything fun looking in here? Just AKs? MPs? Let's we'll stick it right there. Interact with the terminal. Create a party. Private session. We are on... Let's go job board inbox. A warm welcome. Welcome to the Vietnamese Liberation Front. Your decision to join us marks a significant step in our struggle for freedom. Here at VLF, we're driven by passion, resilience, and a deep love for our homeland. Your abilities have shown through, and we're thrilled to have you on board. You'll be receiving assignments that play to your strengths, contributing to our noble cause. Remember, we're in this fight together. Feel free to reach out if you need support or want to share ideas. United, we will pave the way to a free Vietnam. Okay, job board. Stealthy encroachment. We're not about that. Operation Enigma Advance. Network sabotage. Hey, I've got a strong suspicion that our allies at the warehouse have gone rogue. You could sneak in and install some listening devices. We need to confirm if these adults are turning against us like venomous serpents. Show no empathy. Wait a minute. Go to the warehouse and install the bugs. Survive and extract crap from the area. All right, so we gotta install bugs. Hell yeah, look, we get, does that mean we get an M4? Go to the warehouse and install the bugs. Survive and extract from the area at one of the extraction points. Okay, we're gonna do that. We're just gonna do the first one. We're gonna try to be stealthy. I'm not very good at that. Oh, deploy. That's probably what we should do. Oh, we're doing it. I probably messed something up. Oh, look at this fancy thing. Install bugs and extract. I don't... Oh, are these extraction points? We got to get all the way here to install bugs. Okay. How are we going to do this, guys? We could... Could go up this way and come all the way around the side. We could go down here. It looks like a road, possibly. Oh no, we're just gonna figure this out. What we got here? There's a box. Oh shit, we're already taking fire! 
Holy shit. We are definitely already not stealthy. I don't know where that came from. Oh. Okay. Is that shooting at us or am I just freaking out? Oh shit. Yep, we're getting shot. Oh, I see him. We're going to take care of business. I want to see what stuff is. I feel like I hear him. Oh my God. Did he not see me run across the road? I swear I saw someone else. Again, so much for being stealthy. This is not Ghost Recon. Check this out. Oh. I kind of want that. Okay, so we got a gun off him. Okay. Now what's this? Oh, the bugs. I like that. You got to put everything in the backpack and it automatically does it for you. You don't have to actually try to sit there and play with that. Okay, let's crouch. It's not toggle mode. Made to fix that. Let's fix that real quick. Okay, should be able to. There we go. We need to go down this road. We're like a one-man army here. Like, I thought I was going to have to be stealthy. That dude just showed up. Oh, shit! Oh, God. I hear him. He saw me much better than the other guy did. But that means we've got to be stealthy. Yep. Okay. Um, that's the wrong button. Don't hit that. Where'd he go? Oh, shysta. I don't know how many rounds I got. I like that, it doesn't tell me. Oh crap. <gasps> it does show you. Awesome. <laughs> I'm gonna be too distracted to play this. We need something with a scope on it. And there is there is no stealthy, so we're just kinda we're gonna we're gonna give that part up. I wonder how hidden you can be in this. You know, like I've played games like this before. Arma is a good example of like, man, you just, you can't make a mistake or you're dead. And one thing I like about stuff like this is when you're playing against people, you don't really have to be so tactful. And let me explain. People can be predictable, like me. I get anxiety, so you can kind of force me to do something. But the AI tends to be a little bit trickier. It can be exploited, don't get me wrong. Ooh. Oh, duct tape. Is that 60 rounds of Full Metal Jacket? Oh. 
So going back to what I was saying, like AI sometimes, man, like they'll be set up in positions and you don't know like what their range is. When can they see you? How accurate are they going to be? You know, with people, you can tend to... I mean, they can be accurate too, don't get me wrong. I've played against some people that just wrecked my ass. More rounds. Is there a fast way to do that? Not that I know of. Maybe there is. That's a 20 round mag for... I don't know what. Ooh, a scar. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna make it to this compound at some point. Okay. Where are we at? We need to keep going just a little bit further. It had the option to toggle this as well. Which we may do. Look at this, but I want to look around. Damn, LAV. Old dirt road. I don't like. No, we need to get higher. I don't like that. That's a that's a death trap right there. You ever seen the movie The Rock? With uh, Sean Connery and Nicolas Cage. Welcome to The Rock. Yeah, you, you always want the high ground. <gasps> oh shit. Oh, oh god. See, look, that's what I'm talking about. Oh god. Like, I That's what I'm talking about, guys. Holy shit. A human might never have seen you do this. But he certainly saw me. From a long way off. The reload. Any rounds we got in this? Yeah, there's... That's intense. Like, I should be dead right now. Another 30 round mag. We're gonna swap this out. I wanna use one of something. I wanna use something with a sight. So it's almost like you may wanna come into this with nothing. So you can just grab what you, get, what you can get. AK-74M. I'm just gonna take all the rounds that I can. What is this? A food container. We gotta have food? Okay. Where are we at? Got a compound up here. I think I'm gonna try that, guys. I think I'm gonna try to toggle the lean. Let's do that real quick. Alright, we should be good. Oh, yeah, that's much better. Go this way. The worst part about playing something like this? Peek through the door. A pistol. There's gotta be some intel in the airfield. Oh, they're talking to each other. I'm feeling a little 
dizzy over here. That was the worst shot I've ever made in my life. Don't hold that against me. <laughs> that was the worst. I'm so sorry. This is why y'all are like, I'm never playing a game with this guy. That was an easy shot and he missed it. This is cool though, man. This game looks amazing. And who the hell was that guy talking? Oh, a 338. I don't have enough room for that, do I? All right, so it looks like we're here. We may be able to come up and ease in. We gotta get into the building. It looks like this may, this, this is gonna suck, but I'm gonna ping that part right here. And I can ping both of these, it looks like. I don't know how well that's gonna work. Does it show up on my HUD? It does not. It looks like we can go right here. Maybe pinging a location is more for your friends. We got rid of my secondary weapon, didn't we? We did. Son of a biscuit. I hear people. You hear them? Might have been me. It might have been my audio messing up. I don't hear anyone. I wonder what extraction is going to look like. Okay. I don't know if I can get a good... Oh shit. We're just going to keep moving. These guys are talking to. Hey, I might have got yep. This guy sucks. We gotta watch our back too. He didn't really see me when I leaned. Or at least it didn't look that way. Like, that dude saw me instantly. And at this point, his buddy should be showing up. But like that other guy, it was like he was talking t to himself. I was kind of confused, but sure enough, there was two of them. Sorry, dude. It's all business. All right, where are we at? That's probably a horrible spot to check. Why not do that? All right, you gotta be careful with that. If you double tap it, it reloads. 
Now there's a red box over here. I don't know what that box is, but I'm guarantee you can open it. Nothing. Fair enough. One on the inside, one in the middle, and one on the outside. Okay. We've seen the movie easy. <gasps> Surefire mini scout flashlight. Yes. Nine mil rounds, yes. Yes. Only fans. It says old flashlight. <laughs> Is there anything up top? What is that? Old radio. Nails. Oh, dude. Does that mean we got a oh, shotguns? Okay. Let's let's put that in here. Let's take this nails. I don't know. That means I guess you got to do things at your base. I'm, I'm guessing. Again, kind of like Escape from Tarkov, right? I mean, it's been a while since I've played it, but don't you have to like upgrade your base? We're gonna start taking shots here in a second. Plant the bug here. That is that is not hidden. Okay. Where's the other one at? Kind of passed it, didn't we? Yeah, it's in this corner. Oh, but it's on these on these tanks. Maybe. Yep, right here. Then you go around the other side. Pull this back out. So it's got potential. That's for sure. Alright, we're planting the bugs. Now we just gotta get the hell out of here. Pre what did that say? Prepped meal. Okay. I can't talk. Dude, look at all this stuff. I wonder... Yes. Old communicator. What if we... Another food container. More meals. A toolbox. We're going to figure all that out here in a minute, I hope. It might not let us do it yet. You got any spare water left? Oh, shit. Hear him. All right, we're on auto. I'm halfway thinking we should go back out the way we came. That would be the smarter thing to do. Let's do that. Oh god, what just happened? Okay. We're gonna go back the way we came. Or if you can go this way. Oh my god, is extraction right here? We did it? That was neat. It definitely needs polishing, and I'm sure they've, they're going to handle that. Okay. 
<laughs> we chose to do this on hard difficulty. We didn't take any gear with us. I just kind of want to see if I can snag someone else's gear. We're going to die real quick, guys. First words. I can't take anything. What is that? A bedroll? Okay. I can't see shit. But we need a backpack. I mean, this one is not a far-off mission. And I chose to come in here with no gear. Man, you know what this... The graphics are fantastic, but you can't see anything. There was a game I played as a kid. Hey, get over here. We got Shit! <laughs> Covering fire! Got one down. This gun kicks like a son of a bitch. I think we're out. <laughs> I think we're going to die because we're out. I got one shot. We got his head, so. I got really distracted. I think the game was called Shell Shock Vietnam. And I thought that game was so hard. I just could not see anybody when I tried to kill him. I think we're actually in the right spot too. What you got for me in here? Oh, there we go. Okay. We're going to make it through this one. We gotta place the bomb here and extract. We gotta go back and get the bomb. Okay. Let's go. It'd be really neat if, like, when you get into a small firefight, if you had a little bit of time to, like, if you could hear him, like, want to call for help. Especially if you're playing with a team. Like, I'm assuming if you go in here with, with four people, there's going to be a hell of a lot more AI spawned in. That's kind of what it seems like. Like, I'm not facing that many just because it's just me. Go, 
up here. So there's anything worth taking up here. And it doesn't look like there's a quick... Like a quick take all, which is fine. I kind of like that it leaves you exposed. It would just be nice if you still had to like click on each one and you could hit, you know, right click and it automatically moves it to your inventory. All right, where do we got to put these bombs? Like one might be on a truck. It might both be on trucks. That's barrels. Does it say where it, does it say where it is? No, it doesn't. I bet one's on that barrel and one's on that truck. Yep. Oh. Okay, let's get out of here. I think extraction's right here. think maybe not this is where things are gonna get dicey isn't it yeah it's on the other side right here oh shit maybe not uh oh are we blocked We are it's closed it opens in nine seconds okay just gotta hold out it's not really too worried should be good now right there it is sweet Time sucks. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. I definitely appreciate it. I really like this. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, this is definitely for guys like me who get super nervous when we play PvP. Um, it's got that Tarkov feel, but it's got some smooth graphics, some smooth animations. Absolutely fantastic. Good job, guys. Nevertheless, if you enjoy this kind of stuff, please consider smashing that like button. Also, subscribe to my channel and flick my bell. That way you'll be notified anytime I release new stuff. We do go live from time to time. And I'd love to have you guys be a part of that. Anyways, stay frosty, stay mad, and I'll see you all in the next one.